This video was made possible by Magellan TV. Are we alone in the universe? Many people have varying opinions on this matter. Some are convinced that aliens exist or did at one point. Meanwhile, others think there is no way that such species could exist without contacting us yet. And like all of the best questions that permeate society, there is no clear answer one way or the other. But they could be soon thanks to the latest and greatest from NASA. That's because the newly launched James Webb Telescope has a chance to finally give us a definitive answer to arguably the biggest question of all time. It's just one of the many reasons why people are so excited about James Webb and its mission – to look at the deepest corners of the universe. In this video, we are going to take a look at the James Webb Telescope's very first pictures sent back to Earth. We'll show you exactly where scientists expect to find life in the cosmos. And maybe, just maybe, we will soon get an answer to the biggest question of them all. Are we alone in the universe? The hard-working scientists at NASA now can finally take a deep breath knowing that the $10 billion project has reached its destination. And to make things even better, it has just sent back its very first picture of the cosmos. But before we show you this picture, I want to quickly thank the sponsor of this video, Magellan TV. Magellan TV lets you dive deeper into the universe than ever before by providing the best 4K documentaries on the internet. My personal favourite documentary, Disasters in Space, is a six-part series that shows behind-the-scenes stories of the most terrifying moments in space, many unknown to the public. Watch as an explosive mistake almost derails the entire Mars rover mission, and even sees an in-depth investigation into the Columbia disaster that uncovers what caused one of the worst space events in history. It's one of more than 3,000 high-quality documentaries that are available on Magellan TV, which features topics like space, science and technology. Magellan TV has no ads and has a growing collection of 4K content, which can be viewed on nearly all of your devices. If you want to check out this documentary that I mentioned or any other like it, you can watch by clicking my link in the description which will give you a free one-month pass to Magellan TV. Now, back to the video. The very first image captured by James Webb Telescope was taken in early February and it shows a star called HD 84406. The starlight was seen through each of Webb's 18 mirror segments in its primary mirror. So, the resulting image shows a mosaic of 18 scattered bright dots. Over the next few months, Webb's mirrors will continue to adjust and focus and these 18 dots will slowly turn into a single star. Once it's fully focused, NASA has a ton of star systems that they will be pointing at with the hopes that they will contain the elements required for life. But when the James Webb Space Telescope was initially planned over three decades ago, searching for indications of life wasn't part of the job description. Back then, no one had discovered any planets orbiting distant stars, and scientists' major goal was to build a telescope that could collect light from the universe's very first galaxies. However, the construction of this $10 billion equipment proved to be so difficult and time-consuming that a new scientific discipline had popped up in the meanwhile. This is the study of exoplanets, or planets outside our solar system. This telescope's power has piqued the interest of a new generation of astronomers in this discipline. Webb has far different capabilities compared to Hubble, owing to its substantially larger mirror which is 6.5 meters in diameter, versus the 2.5 meter mirror on Hubble it will be able to acquire substantially more data in a single picture as a result of this. Webb is also designed to see the universe at infrared wavelengths. Hubble primarily examines the universe in ultraviolet and visible light wavelengths. However, the information we can gather in those wavelengths while examining planets is typically limited by the influence of the clouds that surround them. 
infrared telescopes can see into portions of the cosmos that are invisible to conventional observatories. Because it is the most amazing telescope ever built, James Webb is capable of a great deal. Exoplanets are one of the many amazing things James Webb can find. Astronomers have identified more than 4,000 exoplanets since 1995, which means there has been an absolute explosion in discoveries since the time the James Webb telescope was first envisioned. However, just a few of these promising distant planets have been photographed. The vast majority of them were discovered by observing the modest impacts they have on their host stars, such as gently shaking them or periodically blocking some of their light. They have remained shrouded in mystery and darkness. James Webb vows to really dive deep into these exoplanets and see exactly how they work and what they could provide for life. The telescope plans to photograph medium-sized exoplanets, which are worlds with a diameter of two to three times that of our own Earth. Even though the images sent back might not be as astonishing as, say, a shot of Mars, the folks at NASA are going to be ecstatic with anything James Webb sends back. That's because astronomers have over two centuries of expertise extracting useful information from poor photographs. James Webb uses a method called transmission spectroscopy to look for the necessary ingredients of life on exoplanets. Exoplanets are seen when they pass in front of their stars and the starlight filtered by their atmospheres is measured in order to learn about their chemical compositions. Infrared technology is so important at this step in the process of finding life. That is because infrared wavelengths produce significantly more lights than what is visible on the spectrum. While other infrared telescopes have been sent into orbit before, Webb is far larger and more powerful than any of them. It can see way more than anything that's come before it. The discovery of oxygen or a few other biomarkers in a planet's atmosphere is a strong technique to find potential life from afar. Apart from oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrogen, James Webb will be looking for something else in atmospheres. CFCs, or chlorofluorocarbons, which have been coating our planets for decades now. Beginning in the 1930s, air conditioners, freezers and even hairspray added them to our environment. These chemicals finally resulted in a dilemma for us. The ozone hole above Antarctica shrinking. These pollutants had an immediate negative effect on our planet and would do the same to others. Thankfully, we have been able to control this anthropogenic gas thanks to regulations implemented across the globe. But from a scientific standpoint, the presence of CFCs would identify Earth as a world populated by technically capable people to anybody viewing it from afar. Reversing the scenario, some scientists have speculated that James Webb may detect such intentionally manufactured gases in an exoplanet's atmosphere meaning that it harboured intelligent life. Despite how appealing this notion sounds, it would be difficult to implement since we have to be extremely lucky to locate anything in an exoplanet's atmosphere that came and went in 50 years. The odds of doing this are slim, but they are still possible. About 40 light years distant, James Webb will explore an intriguing planetary system TRAPPIST-1 is a tiny, cold star orbited by seven Earth-sized planets, three of which orbit in the zone where temperatures should be moderate enough for liquid water to exist. The James Webb Space Telescope will be able to observe it perfectly. Another planet that will be observed is named Proxima Centauri b. This is the closest exoplanet to us at a distance of 4.2 light-years away, or 265,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Proxima b was discovered in 2016 and is thought to be a rocky terrestrial planet slightly larger than Earth and some scientists predict it could even contain liquid water. If it truly does contain the elements required for life, the James Webb Telescope will be able to detect it. Non-biological phenomena such as volcanic activity can alter planetary atmospheres, including our own. 
So if the atmospheres discovered in Proxima b yielded any intriguing results, scientists would still need to rule out any non-biological effects before proclaiming the possibility of extraterrestrial life. It's going to take years of studying to truly find out what lies on these exoplanets. We can only assume there will be more questions and much more debate. However, there is one thing for sure, which is that James Webb will give us a closer look at these exoplanets than ever before. If you want to learn even more about the James Webb Telescope, then make sure to use my link in the description to get a free one-month pass to Magellan TV. Their documentary, Planet Hunting with the James Webb Space Telescope, goes into great detail about the mission, so you won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.